Hello, welcome to Boris the Bulldog. If you've seen our other videos, you know my name is Stacy, and this buddy here is Boris. Um, and today is Friday. It's Friday morning right now. Um, and today is actually a very sad day. Devin, my husband Devin, and I were leaving on vacation tomorrow. And this guy is not coming with us. We're gonna be gone for seven nights. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna be gone for seven nights. And actually, he has to be boarded for nine nights because we're leaving our flight tomorrow is at 5:50 a.m. and the place that we board him at um they're not going to let us drop him off at 4 in the morning so we have to drop him off tonight and what's really really sad about that is i'm going to be working i work at a hospital i'm so it's kind of a weird shift but uh 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. and he has to be dropped off um by 5 30 p.m. is the latest so i'm gonna have my husband devin drop him off at daycare or the boarding place um tonight <laughs> um and it's so sad that i can't drop him off i can't even say like, bye to him i have to say bye before i go to work at one okay he's in a playful mood right now <laughs> he okay you guys I'm so excited about these videos because, okay, um, because this dog, he is, he has the biggest attitude, and I just <laughs> want to show you guys how much of an attitude he has right now. Look, look at him. And some things he does, he can only get away with, with me, like, well, he likes to nibble on our skin, that, that's kind of typical, but, eh. Ah. Um, but he only eats my shoes, like my flip-flops, and really he only, he only does this to me. My husband, he like nibbles at his skin. Okay, Boris, enough. So, like I was saying, very sad day. I might cry at work, I don't know. Sometimes it takes me a while to, you know adjust to what's happening. What am I saying? I might not fully realize that we're leaving. Like, it doesn't really seem real that we're leaving tomorrow. It came up a really quick. We just booked this vacation. <laughs> we just booked this vacation literally last month. It's very last minute vacation um, for our anniversary, three year anniversary already. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> This is the time he's very playful. It's like, I think it's 10.30 a.m. right now when he's very playful. He's not a morning dog. <laughs> he's not a morning dog, but right now, so I mean 8 a.m. he's super tired and is still in bed. He sleeps with us in bed, but by now he's in his playful mood and he expects to get a W-A-L-K. So he's kind of being a turd right now. Usually when we go on like a trip, I have my sister watch him. She has two dogs and they just love playing. So usually she watches Boris for the week and all is good. He has never been actually boarded for this long. Um, the longest he's been boarded is just for weekends. So we've never boarded him for when we're on trips before. So this is new to us. Um, he is going to be staying in a little run, it's called, like a little room. Uh, it's five by, five by eight feet. So it's actually pretty big. He'll be in the run, and then they'll take him out. Hopefully, they're thinking three times a day, usually for a half hour to an hour long, depending on how busy busy they are. Probably on the weekend, just a half hour um, for three times. Um, during the week when they're not as busy, they said up to an hour, he'll be playing with other dogs for an hour, three different times. And this place, actually a vet tech owns the place. 
and he's gotten bitten a few times at daycare. So now we're we're switching over to this other one, and they've they said they've never had a dog bite before. So Boris getting bit. I think I think he's gotten well bit once, and then some dog kept tugging on his his neck wrinkles. So he had not a dog bite, but some kind of injury. Um, but yeah, we're expecting this time he's not going to get bitten by any dogs, thankfully, um, since it's never happened there. So here's the Boris with Bulldog. <laughs> he's going to start playing, I can tell. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're going to say our final goodbye. Well, oh my gosh, <laughs> that sounds so sad, but um, just our goodbyes, how about... Um, since he's going to daycare for nine nights, I might just cry. I'll probably cry on Saturday when I, like, fully realize what's happening. Yeah. Boris, say bye. We'll see how he does for daycare, and then we'll update you guys all. They've got all his food and snacks and treats ready for daycare. He's got his Kong treats here. First Kong. Um, they said we can bring some of his toys. So we're bringing just his favorite ones that don't, like these are rubber ones, so they're not gonna um, get ripped up or anything. His favorite treats we got. And then soft food here. What? So we got Boris's uh, food right here, his salmon meal. He's a free food or free feed dog, meaning that he can just have food next um, in his little kennel all day, and then it's basically unlimited. So when he finishes his bowl, um, they should be filling his bowl back up because that's what he's used to. Um, he just eats whenever he feels like it, and. You know, he eats about four cups a day, so um, he's a pretty muscular dog. He he gets his walks in, and um, he doesn't really gain weight. He's pretty healthy, so we just let him free feed. Um, and then some, at daycare, he just gets so excited with all the dogs. Um, he doesn't eat. <laughs> like, he eats um, snacks, basically. He only eats, like one or two cups a day when he's at daycare. So we're bringing these, this soft food here, turkey and pea. Um, just, these are more like easier to eat, I guess. So when, when he gets this soft food, he eats it right away. Whereas when we give him the hard food, he just lets it sit. So um, if he's not eating much, they're gonna give him this soft food. So then um, hopefully he'll get more food down that way. Yeah, and then just his collar, because right now he doesn't have his collar on. Um, yeah, I made all these labels. I don't know if they're going to care, but I figured it's going to be easier for them. Alright. Uh, it is now almost 1 o'clock, so I have to head to work. I've almost broke down crying. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this little guy. Boris, come here. So this is our goodbye. <laughs> Until next week, Boris. Boris, come here. Oh, that cute face. You miss him. Alright, you guys, I just, I'm thinking about Boris's face. He's so adorable. I'm gonna miss him for a whole week. I can't believe it. And then I'm just thinking about my husband dropping him off, and I can't even be there to say goodbye to him and make sure he's okay. It's so sad. I should really just be a stay-at-home dog mom, and then I don't have to worry about this. I can always be there for him. 
Oh, it's gonna be a rough week. And then I'll just update you when we get back from vacation. Hello, so we are back from the Florida Keys. We are ready to see our buddy. Uh, we can't, it is now Sunday. Um, so it's been, yeah, obviously a week. Um, and we can't pick him up till noon, but since we're so excited and we are just so eager to see him, we're gonna be there right at noon to pick him up. Here we go. Look at all the wind. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Got you back, buddy. <laughs> All right, we got Boris back in our care. We are very excited. We've got an exciting day today. It involves cuddling on the couch. <laughs> Devin's gonna play his video games <laughs> and Boris is gonna sleep and cuddle with us and it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> My buddy, come here. Oh, what a cute. We made it back home. This is Boris right now. Just passed out. A freaking cute dog. He is so tired. The first about 10 minutes at home, he walked around the whole house, sniffed everything. And now I think he's comfortable. <laughs> We're a little worried, but I think he's good now. He's reacquainted with the house. And now he's passed out. Mm -mm. I miss my buddy so much. Now this is what we'll be doing the whole day. Maybe get some playtime in the backyard, but we'll see if he gets any energy for that. <laughs> Alright, Boris, say bye. 